Mr. Saru Verma, congratulations on securing all India rank of five in electrical engineering and all India rank of four in instrumentation engineering in the gate 2023. Thank you very much, sir. Double congratulations for you. Thank you, sir. Uh, Verma, uh, can you please introduce yourself briefly? Yes. So this is Sir Verma currently pursuing BTEC from uh, Institute of Infrastructure Technology Research and Management, Ahmedabad, Gujarat. Currently, I am final year. So this year, I gave gate exam and scored AR5 in electrical engineering and AR4 in instrumentation. So my native place is in Bihar, but I live in Rajasthan. Right. So this electrical fifth rank, what is our uh, gate score? Sir, 976. 976. Yes. Instrumentation fourth rank, your gate yes. score? Sir, 892. 892. Right. Yes. Sir. Good. Uh, Mr. Verma. Yes, sir. You got the best ranks in the electrical as well as the instrumentation engineering. Yes. Did you prepare anything extra for this instrumentation gate paper compared to electrical? No, sir. Um, I, what I saw and asked from the seniors, they also told that you can prepare for well through electrical syllabus also in instrumentation. And Mainly, I have done communication extra for uh, instrumentation that uh, what I whatever I studied in semester through that notes only. So, you are basically from electrical engineering, am I right? Yes, sir. So, you prepared only electrical engineering syllabus? Yes, sir. The extra syllabus you prepared for the instrumentation paper is only that communication part? Yes, sir, from semesters, not only. So, how much weight is for the communication subject in the instrumentation paper? Sir, be, only basic questions like amplitude correlations and so major three marks, two yeah. to three marks. Yes. Okay. Uh, if you compare the standard of the questions in yes. electrical engineering and instrumentation engineering, yes. Sir. Where did you feel what you call somewhat uh, easy relatively? The instrumentation paper I found relatively easy, so that's why I scored seventy three marks. And in, in electrical, it was quite unconventional compared to previous year questions paper. So that uh, there I got only 61.67 marks and that fetched me IR5. So yes. from here also we can compare that electrical was a little bit tough than instrumentation. Yeah, and yeah, moreover, yeah. seeing previous year papers also, I found instrumentation a little bit easier than electrical papers. Okay. Yeah, yes. this year this electrical paper was uh, somewhat uh, tough, so that's why yes. uh, you couldn't score much marks there. Okay, fine. Uh, Mr. Verma, now you are uh, pursuing the final year BTEC. Yes, sir. So seriously, when did you start the preparation for this uh, gate examination? Sir, I started preparing from my second year, this third semester. From that only, how the subjects which are coming uh, in the same manner that the subjects which comes in my seminar, I started preparing from that way. Means in third semester, uh, basic subjects like network theory and signal system come, then I started preparing from that only. Then going on as the semester comes, uh, then in semester four, I studied electrical machines in college also, then for also. And similarly, I done. So in third year, I also gave year 2022. In that, uh, I got uh, 273 rank. So I learned uh, my mistakes from the, that, that I committed various silly mistakes and all. So which guided me for year 2023 exam. OK, good, uh, Mr. Verma. Uh, yes. Seriously, how many hours you used to work towards the gate preparation daily? Yes, sir. Basically, I have some little bit. I I I was having some little bit advantage that I got locked down in second year and half third year. So I completed my most of the syllabus in that lockdown period, and then after that, when college begins, then majorly from 
9-5, I was in college. Then after that, I study for gate from 6 to 11. It's five hours per day. And majorly in that, I focus on question practice, two test series and all solving previous year questions and any concept to question. Because since my syllabus was uh, more over, over in my lockdown period, which I study. Okay. Uh, Mr. Saurav, Mr. Parma, yes. uh, from your successful journey, cracking the gate exam in two papers, very good ranks. Uh, can you please share some tips and suggestions to the other aspirants, particularly in your electrical engineering? So basically, I learned from my past mistake, which I committed in uh, uh, earlier competitive exams like uh, uh, JE and J Advanced, which I gave in class 12. From there, uh, I not uh, got much better rank. I mean, what I learned was that I earlier uh, make some questions um, uh, that this is tough. Uh, I can I can't solve that. So keeping in this mind, I in gate I. In gate exam, I didn't uh, earlier pre-assume that uh, that no any question is not tough. It's only concept we have to apply. And if it's tough or all, then it may guide you some concept or uh, maybe lacking some concept in it. So that's why that question uh, we may not attend. Yeah, it's we are like it tough. Right. So coming to the gate examination, you require a lot of uh, what you call problem solving skills, right? Yes. And a good revision, etc. So how yes. you used to carry out these two points, revision and then problem solving skills? So basically, I uh, main focus was on basic subjects like network theory and signal. I revise them five to six times. So uh, means in signal system, there are various formulas and uh, all that help in uh, other subjects also like power electronics and control system. So my main focus was to first strong these subjects and these subjects will definitely help other subjects also. So- We're gonna problem solving skills. Uh, in problem solving, I majorly focus on test series and IQ. So in test series, as we know, there are three types uh, of uh, paper first subject wide test then uh, topic wise test and finally mock test so i started uh, practicing first for means topic wise test and then subject wise and at last mock test so basically in a uh, test series whatever i found that may uh, solving any question uh, basically we may got three things either we found it tough or we, we have taken given uh, much time to any question in that or uh, some uh, some questions may guide some concept in it so basically i segregated all questions in these three manners and yes okay so what type of coaching that you have availed from our yes academy Sir, uh, I have used only uh, ACE test series. Test for series. ACE Academy test series. Yes. yes. In that, uh, uh, I was given a K2022 test series of ACE Academy and K2023 test series also. Okay. So, out of this, so many tests available in our test series, yes. approximately how many tests that you have taken? Sir, approximately more than 100 tests were available. I gave uh, up to six tests. Yes. How many? Uh, up to? Sir, 60. 60% 60 of tests you have taken? Yes, sir, 60%. Okay. Uh, one last question. Uh, yes. Uh, how this yes, mock test series helped you in your success? So, uh, basically, I found that yes, the test series questions, uh, type, difficulty level, and concept are very much similar to gate paper and uh, it's it will be it guide us more and more concept which uh, any students lacks yes right and uh, mr verma uh, yes. one more last question right uh, with this uh, all india rank of 5 electrical 
Yes, sir. Uh, what are you going to do? Are you going to join PSU or else MTech in IITs? Sir, I am planning for higher studies in ISC Bangalore through artificial intelligence. Part. Good. Yes, so I wish you good luck uh, in your right future uh, studies. And uh, thank you. Very much, sir. I congratulate you once again. Thank you for sp share, uh, sparing your time and sharing your uh, strategic points in our preparation of gate examination. Thank so you, sir. And we have our best wishes to your parents also and friends also, right? Yes. God bless you, Mr. Varma, in all your future yes, endeavors, right? Thank you, sir. Yeah, God bless you.